morning, my friends. We're going to do a tutorial today for 1940 Royal Varsity. And I have to admit, it took me forever to figure out what this little guy was. Um, it has a D uh, serial prefix. Could not find it on the database. But after finding a random little blog post, I discovered that this guy is called a varsity, and then I was able to find it on the database um, in other people's galleries. And so this is a 1940, and it is as basic as you get. The only bell and whistle on this thing is a backspace. Other than that, you got nothing other than just keys. Um, so you do, and it has a one color ribbon option. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to lift it up and it is, it's ultra portable. It's very small. Here is the serial number right here. Okay. Here's your margins. Press and drag. Now there is no margin release. So keep that in mind. Got my margin set. Um, here's your little carriage to move the carriage. Your carriage release is right here. That's on the right side. Um, on the left, I think that's double, that's single. Okay, so that's your line selector. This, I don't know what this is. So we're going to leave that alone. I suspect it has something to do with removing the platen. Uh, let's open up the top. Inside you'll see the ribbons. This uses a universal ribbon and it just pops in and out very easy. And uh, actually is pretty easy to thread, but I do have an up close image. If you go to the product listing link, you'll find the images and that'll show you how to do it. Now to reverse the direction of this ribbon, instead of there being a manual lever here or here, it's on the side. There's a little silver, it looks like a button right here. And there's one on the other side as well. And you just press it and you'll see it popped out. That reverses the direction. When you need to reverse it again, press it from this side, and there you go. So it just, here I'll flip it up so you can see it on this side. Here it is sticking out, press it, and it reverses. Okay, so that is your ribbon reversal. Here is a backspace. You've got your shift, your shift lock, and that's all there is to this typewriter. But let me go ahead, I'll load a piece of paper. So you load your paper right there. You just turn the handle, you don't need to shove it down. Make sure your paper is underneath this metal bar. You'll see it's just a tad crooked, so this taller lever is your paper release. Pull that forward, you can adjust your paper, re-engage it, line things up if you want. And then you are ready to go. I'll do an exclamation point with a period backspace. Um, oh, here it is. Hyphen or apostrophe. Ready to go. There's your um, exclamation point now. Awesome, so that is literally all there is to this typewriter. Super simple, good for smaller hands. It has the glass, round glass keys. Super basic typewriter. And that's all there is to this one. I keep feeling like there's something else I should say, but there is nothing else to show you on this typewriter. So. If you're looking for something that's very easy to use, here you go, uh, a Royal Varsity. And if you wanna see how it types, then there is a link below and it's probably 
popping up now as well um, on the screen. Just click on that and that'll take you to a typing demo for the Royal Varsity. Thanks so much for watching. You all have a blessed day.